In 2014, the Boundary Dam Power Station became the first in the world to start using carbon capture and storage technology. Now, like the name suggests, the technology works by capturing some of the CO2 produced by coal-fired power stations before it's admitted into the air. Part of that carbon dioxide is then sold to oil companies, while another part is stored. Retrofitting Boundary Dam Unit 3 costs $1.5 billion. Former Premier Brad Wall called it a weapon against the high emissions using coal. But as of today, there's no immediate plans for further expansions. SAS Power says it won't be equipping two additional units at Boundary Dam with the technology. It says there simply isn't a business case for it. And that the low price of natural gas is a significant factor in the decision. Still, the government maintains today's announcement isn't an admission of defeat. I certainly don't sit here today thinking that this is the end of CCS. It's certainly not the end of CCS for SAS Power. Obviously, BD3 is an important component of, uh, of uh, SAS Power's future. We will have decisions to make on additional units. One of those decisions will be around the Shand Power Station near Estevan. SAS Power is now eyeing that facility to be equipped with the technology, but no decisions have been made yet. A study is underway looking at preliminary costs. It's being conducted by the International CCS Knowledge Centre, a nonprofit funded by BHP. Officials didn't release cost estimates today, but say early results are positive. It says the second generation of carbon capture technology will be, quote, significantly cheaper and more efficient. Meanwhile, the NDP says the government is making the right call at Boundary Dam. It calls the whole CCS project a mistake. This is another Bill Boyd special where they ran ahead uh, with an idea, uh, chasing a shiny private sector jewel, and as a result have wound up costing us billions. Now those two units at Boundary Dam will be shut down, but not necessarily right away. The government hopes to reach an agreement with Ottawa to extend its lifespan for a few more years, Otherwise, those units are slated to close by the end of 2019. Stephanie Taylor, CBC News, Regina.